markets based on Fibonacci. It's 10.02 on March 9th and S&P is almost 4 points in. Stock at reversal zone. What did we do on S&P? Shocker! We played by the rules. We came to the markets and we said bullish rally over extended at the market open. We said we ain't touching S&P unless S&P collapses and we will look to buy as low as possible. We had done so. Currently, it's a bit of a problem as my beautiful trade stuck at reversal zone. <gasps> Poor baby taking a pause. It's so, so, so tired. What did we discuss on oil? <gasps> Quite a similar structure. Oil stage, such a lovely bullish rally from reversal zone on hourly. This was the war zone for 49.68. Nevertheless, my bias remained only bullish. First two bullish trades. The last bullish trade, by the time I discussed it with my students, already played out. Again, why are we seeing selling pressure on oil? For the same reason, the trade we discussed with my students at reversal zone as well. Reminding you, respect the price and adore Fibonacci levels. That simple. Bullish rally on oil picking up the steam. Not surprising. Expect to see oil at 50.35. Expect to see S&P at 2078 and a quarter and 2084 That pure and that simple. So you remember where we bought oil from and this bullish trend came to the exhaustion levels. Reminding you don't ever disrespect reversal zone. So can our beautiful chart collapse even lower? Mm, wouldn't that be marvelous? Just picture perfect reminder. No, support in resistance is random. Price is perfect and flawless. Magic happens if you play by the rules. Ladies and gentlemen, what did we discuss? 50.35 is in. Take it as your first target on oil, would you? Oh, can oil break through reversal zone? Mm, would be even better. But we all know it's a counter trend trade. Knowledgeable trader waiting for much lower levels to buy and buy and buy oil from. And that's what separates aggressive trader who is confined to trading room hours. Clear? And that's the magic of the price. To the downside, my very short chart at reversal levels. I warned you, we'll start seeing buying pressure right here. That's how predictable price is. And that's a reminder. Oil dancing at these levels? reached very crucial target where we expected buyers to come in from. And oil may continue this worthless job. Again, if you're buying oil at reversal levels, your success rate 20%. If we have very powerful trending markets, only then oil will blast through these levels. 80% of the time, the trend ends right here. What is oil telling me right now? It will continue the worthless corrections. Why are they so dangerous? Because bullish trend is phenomenal. That's why I warned you. My bias since early this morning remained only bullish. If you're shorting oil, as I warned you, you're a super darn aggressive trader. Nevertheless, oil reached our beautiful target. Clear? It's that simple. So we're not seeing anything spectacular at the markets right now. Knowledgeable trader will separate corrections from reversal. Oil may give you powerful reversal, but it's highly unlikely. Buyers are tired, sellers are worthless. That's all there is. If you buy, you buy well before reversal zone. 
11 trades positive, 11 trades positive. S&P killing it this month with reversal zone. Clear? Every single person here trades different lot sizes, different account sizes. You have to identify what time frame, what instrument appropriate for you. Are you a stock trader? Are you a position trader? Or are you a day future trader? Absolutely essential and crucial to identify to your success. God made us very, very different people. What appeals to one person is not what appeals to the next trader. We've taken advantage of lovely four-point push to the upside. S&P danced in worthless chop, as I warned you. Knowledgeable trader knows what worthless chop is and will walk away from computer. If you know alpha wave trader method, you may have an opportunity to buy S&P again, but only if rules are met. Expect to see S&P at 2084. Would not be surprised if it will happen by the close of today. From 2084, you will see powerful push to the downside. Oil found selling pressure from reversal zone, sitting at the end of the minor trend. Very, very pretty. So, ladies and gentlemen, four trades, three trades oil, one trade S&P. And again, oil reminded you, very, very powerful lesson this morning. Knowledge is power. Handhelding does not work. Being follower in day trading does not work. When markets are very, very volatile, that's a picture-perfect reminder. Knowledge is the key. So have a marvelous afternoon. Look forward to seeing you, my beautiful students, in Alpha Wave Trader Education Room at 1245.